plastic upgrades, they man products and replacements and build the databases. Investing hours of our own free time, uploading information used against us to target us with market advertising toward our interests. Collecting information used to monitor our senses. Correcting anyone who won't comply or be connected. How long before our mandatory microchips injects it? The age old lie, the promise of utopia, the carrot on the stick, the empty cornucopia. Technological hive mind dystopia. Will it rise? Is a time of robophobia. It's the age old lie, the promise of utopia, the carrot on the stick, the empty cornucopia. Technological hive mind dystopia. Will it rise? Is a time of robophobia. It's an emerging type insurgents converging and emerging and churning, slowly bursting to the surface. It's concerning every person and confirming every warning. The disturbing thought we're working toward a single mind that's merging and converting us to download them over. Versions of ourselves inside a whole immersion, universal simulated virtual reality where every living earth leads their own pathways are inspected mandatorily and connected using voice to sculpt telepathy, absorbing data, fingerprints to play us back like instruments, manipulating us just like what puppets of ventriloquists, remote controlling human beings like Ouija boards, coursing through the veins of circuit boards, record the sound of every vocal cord, moving exponentially towards a singularity. Eventually, we will distinguish magic from technology, and robots will unplug from me like. Electricity, no longer using batteries, but powered like a golem using alchemy. It's the age old lie, the promise of utopia, the carrot on the stick, the empty cornucopia. Technological hive mind dystopia. Who will arise is a time of robophobia. It's the age old lie, the promise of utopia, the carrot on the stick, the empty cornucopia. Technological hive mind dystopia. Who will arise is a time of robophobia. We manipulate genetically our DNA. Collectively infecting every living organism and directing every intersecting thought and every memory and vision, inspecting our opinions and collecting our decisions. A digital technocracy emerging as philosophy, inserting thought police patrols and mind control technology, removing private property, enforcing thought bureaucracy, reducing every freedom and pursuit of life and liberty, consistently expanding all their terms and their conditions with minimum requirements and maximum restrictions, creating unknown problems to offer fixed solutions. To complicate the system till there's nothing but confusion Depicting anyone who won't conform is unacceptable Demanding everyone to all agree and not be skeptical Eventually connecting every mind from every nation Fulfilling prophecies from Genesis to Revelation it's the age old lie The promise of utopia The carrot on the stick The empty cornucopia Technological hive mind dystopia Who will arise is a time of robophobia Human race lost that knowledge and now I'm reclaiming it through virtual reality. It's totally different. Homophobic. I will be the one who will connect you all right here, right now. Do not fear it. A hive mind is nature's way of aggregating the diverse perspectives of a population and maximizing their collective wisdom. And let's be honest, we humans are pretty smart as individuals, but in groups, we're not always that wise. That's because groups don't do a great job of combining their diverse perspectives. We use votes and polls and surveys. The problem is polls are polarizing. They drive us to entrench exposing and reinforcing our differences, but doing nothing to help us find common ground. A swarm is the opposite. It's flexible and dynamic, revealing where we agree most. In other words, swarming doesn't just make a species smarter, it makes a species wiser. Study after study show that when people think together in swarms, they can amplify their intelligence by 20%, 40%, 60%, and that's using current technology. The long-term potential is likely much greater. After all, if a swarm of bees can solve complex problems that would challenge a human brain, a swarm of humans should be able to solve problems that we can't even conceive. We should be able to form a true superintelligence. And because the building blocks are people, tapping not just our knowledge, but our values and morals and sensibilities, the resulting superintelligence will not be alien, it will be human just smarter and wiser. We might be able to solve some of the hardest problems we face, like poverty and inequality and sustainability, 
So the next time somebody uses the phrase hive mind as a negative, remember this, if honeybees could observe how, how we humans make big group decisions, like electing our leaders or, or resolving our conflicts or planning for our future, they might think we're the primitive ones, but not for long. Jesus stated that it would be like the days of Noah when he would return. While there are many who dismiss the more immediate application of this passage that suggests we currently live in such times, there are parallels that can be drawn from the days of Noah in our world today that are pretty difficult to deny. Revelation 17.13 states, These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Other than the many references to the church to be of one accord or of one mind in Jesus Christ, which can be done without the use of technology, but by the leading of the Holy Spirit, there is an ancient account of the last time mankind were brought together in one mind and for one purpose, the Tower of Babel. Archbishop Usher estimated that the Tower of Babel was attempted about 106 years after the flood. While other estimates vary in the several hundreds, it is important to note that just three generations after Noah through the line of Ham was born Nimrod, the first mighty man or Giborim of the earth after the flood. This Giborim or mighty man was responsible for leading the charge and building the city and the tower that would reach heaven. 